click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today we are going to study uh, numericals based on convolution theorem of laplace transform first of all before solving any numericals any problem based on convolution theorem you should know the property of convolution theorem which is we derived which was derived in laplace transform sections first of all the property uh, laplace transform of any two convolution functions or you can say that convolution of any two functions if you are going to find out a laplace transform of convolution of any two function is always product of laplace transform of two individual functions or both individual functions first of all i'll repeat if we have a functions which is convolved with each other if we have two functions which is convolved with each other then if whenever we want to transform the convolution then it is take the laplace transform both the functions separately and just multiply it so that your resultant is transformed into a laplace domain so now we will solve first of all a numerical based on a laplace transform or you can say convolution property or theorem of laplace transform the problem number 1 that we are going to study the first one the question is always a uh, perform convolution of x1 of t and x2 of t using convolution theorem of laplace transform now instead of writing convolution x1 of and x2 of t we can use the uh, symbol of x1 uh, convolution now in exam mostly they will give uh, apply laplace transform x1 convolve with x2 the basically the symbol of convolution is star for time signal or continuous time signal it it is a star and for a discrete it is represented by dot with a circle for linear circulation and n with a circle for circular convolution so let it be right now we are solving a time related questions or a laplace transform question so first of all we will always prefer a star or there is always a star in between whenever we want to perform a convolution between any two functions so convolution symbol is a simply star or you can say x1 convolve with x2 will be given in exam now first of all in our question the x1 of t is u of t plus 5 and x2 of t is del of t minus 7 now you can say that whenever we want to find out a laplace transform of delayed function then it is always we are going to multiply a laplace transform of input with e to the power some values what was that value what is the formula of delayed function or you should know the property of time shifting frequency now in this question the x1 of t is given which is u of t plus 5 and x2 of t is given which, which is del of t minus 7 now you can see both the functions are delayed means we have to use a time shifting property in both the functions so first of all we'll calculate the laplace transform of both and then we'll multiply it so that you will get the resultant convolution theorem of laplace transform or resultant in a laplace domain so let's see the first of all a convolution property of laplace transform basically the definition of a laplace transform or convolution theorem of laplace transform or st statement of convolution theorem of laplace transform is laplace transform of x1 convolve with x2 of t this is the symbol of convolution it is a star which represents we have to perform a convolution between two functions but when we convert this convolution into laplace domain then it is always a product of laplace transform of both the functions we have to find out a laplace transform of both the functions separately and then just multiplied with each other so means what first of all we have to find out a laplace transform of x1 of t and then later on we'll find out a laplace transform of x2 of t now the x1 of t is x1 of t is u of t plus 5 and x2 of t is del of t minus 7 now we have to find out the laplace transform of both the functions separately so first of all i'll calculate laplace transform of x1 of t now according to definition of laplace transform any time signal can be con transformed into laplace domain and it is represented in terms of s so first of all 
Laplace transfer x1 of t is represented as x1 of s. And according to definition, first of all, we have to find out the product of x of t that is input x1 of t into e to the power minus st. And then we are going to integrate it over the range from minus infinity to infinity with respect to time t. This was the definition of Laplace transform. Now here I am going to substitute the value of x1 of t which is u of t plus 5. Basically before solving this question we can use the one more method that is a time shifting property. So according to time shifting property if the function is delayed then the time shifting property said that we have to multiply that delayed value with e to the power s that power s will be multiplied by that delayed value here the delayed value is plus 5 so means what the e the s the power s which is present in the numerator power of a e will be multiplied by plus 5 so i will directly write e to the power 5s into Laplace transform of input function. The input is u of t that is u of s. Now we know that the Laplace transform of u of s is always a 1 by s because here we have a we have to consider this function is a unit step function. So now let's see the next part of this question. Now this was the result x1 of s is equal to the power minus power 5s into u of s. Now we know that a Laplace transform of u of t is nothing but u of s and the result is 1 by s. So simply replace or you can say substitute u of s value by 1 by s. So x of s is e to the power 5s whole divided by s and this is my part number 1. Now I will find out the Laplace transform of x2 of t and which is nothing but x2 of s and what is a function it is del of t minus 7 means what here also the time is delayed means what we have to use a time shifting property over here and then we will multiply it by del of laplace transform of del of t which is del of s so first of all using time shifting property what you are going to write we have to multiply this s by a delayed value the delayed value is minus 7 so i will write minus 7 over here into del of s what is del of s? So Laplace transform of del of t is del of s and we have solved this del of s value in previous videos that is a Laplace transform of elementary signal and where in that video we have found that del of s value or del of t function gives always one value when it is transformed into another domain any other domain. So now del of s value is one so my x2 of s value is this del of s is replaced by 1. So we have a to the power minus 7s only. Now what we are going to do? This is my equation number 2. Now I will substitute both the values in my formula. So let's see the solution, further solution. Now we will substitute values of x1 of s and x2 of s in our formula. Our formula was a Laplace transform of x1 of t convolved with x2 of t. Basically, this is the star and x1 of s into x2 of s is the conversion. Now, x1 of value, x1 of s value is e to the power minus 7s is the value of x2 of s and x1 of value is e to the power 5s whole divided by s. So, look at here. Both the terms are present in the product form. So, just multiplied it but much more important is here in numerator the power gets added if the base value is same here the base value is exponential so you can add the power values so what you will get e to the power 5 minus 7 s whole divided by s e to the power 5 s minus 7 s now if i take s common from power so you have 5 minus s and 5 minus 7 is a minus 2. So resultant is e to the power 
minus 2s by s and this is the output or you can say the resultant of convolution so it is simple now this type of question ask always ask in exam for 5 to 10 marks and the solution is quite easy but before solving this so question you should know or you should familiar with all the property statements or derived that we derived in laplace transform so just once go through it before solving the numericals related to convolution theorem now in next video we will solve a problem number two so please stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much